doing a quick walk around on my uh, 2020 520 foot shift Rubicon. It's got a couple things on it you don't see too much on YouTube. I'm running the uh, CST Ankla tires. Uh, I have four front tires on four front rims. It uh, makes it so I can rotate them. I'm also going to put studs in them for winter. So the uh, solid lugs are great for putting studs in. I like these tires. They roll nice and smooth, yet they're uh, good enough in the mud for what I do. I have a Perfect 2 inch lift kit. It's uh, a little different than the high lifter lift. I'm not saying better or worse, just slight bolts up slightly different in, in the front. The back is pretty much identical to the high lifter, except it's made out of stainless, but uh, I don't really give a crap about that. I did a, a bunch of little teeny tiny mods to this just to kind of personalize it. I, I like to run a tow hook under my ball so I can hook a strap up super easy. I removed my stick stoppers in the back so uh, I can wash it out easier. They don't seem to stop anything anyway. I do have one inch wheel spacers in the back. I don't, it's, they're not really going to show up on camera. But uh, with the lift and the tall skinny tires, didn't really want the back too skinny. It puts, uh, with the front rims and the wheel spacers, the tire is still not out past the fender, so I don't get filthy. So uh, that setup's working pretty good. I haul a chainsaw around a lot, so I like a full-size cargo box and not a seat. I've had this cargo box on three different ATVs. To uh, make up for it not being a seat, I slide it back to the back of the bumper. I had to cut the bar off of the rack. That's pretty minor. And uh, this bumper is actually off of the king quad that I just got rid of. It uh, bolted up pretty friggin' easy. I mod I just uh, this is on a slight angle with the U bolt around here. The top bolted right on. You can only open the back cargo box like halfway, but there's nothing important in there. That's the box isn't waterproof. Whatever you put in there gets filthy. With my uh, lift kit and these tires, which are a little over 26 inches tall. I have 14 inches of ground clearance under, right under here. That's uh, more than enough for what I do. I run the front cargo box as well. Again, I've, that's been on three different ATVs. I've had it for years. It makes the pod light, so you, so you can't use the pod light basically. To uh, overcome that, I cut the wires to the pod light and hooked up these two little LED lights, which I've had for years. They've been on three different motorbikes, I believe. They're quite bright. They're at, I think they're a 10 degree spot. At least they shot a long ways and not very wide. I got this from the, uh, from the dealer with a winch installed. It's a KFI 2500 pound winch. Seems to work alright. Uh, that's about it. This thing uh, rides really nice. If it uh, went a little faster, I would it would be totally awesome, but it's pretty slow on the top end. That's the only thing I miss about the King Quad. This thing seems to have as much pulling power at low speeds, but it has no top speed. It does uh, 75 kilometers an hour. That's it. She's done. She's on the rev limiter. It's got more power to go faster, but no gear. Oh, I got handlebar muffs on it for now. It's still kind of chilly here. They'll be coming off right shortly. I did... Uh, I don't know if I can see it or not. Yeah, you can kind of see it. The uh, the wires going to the 4x4 actuator are up there now. And Jampo dielectric grease, they were on the bottom frame tube on the other side. I copied a bunch of uh, little mods other guys did. I dielectric greased every plug. My gas tank vent line is now right underneath of here with the... Uh, with a fuel filter on it actually so I can't suck dust into the tank that's something all King Quad guys did I've never seen a Honda guy do it but it's same same fuel injection setup so eventually you will suck dust into your tank and plug up your filter that a little fuel filter stops it I run my uh, rear diff vent and the front diff vent up to the same location since I don't have snorkels this is plenty high well, that's about it. Uh, this thing is super comfortable. The power steering works great. It uh, doesn't steer super duper easy, but nothing bad happens when you slam into stuff. That's about it.